This is Dean with Westlake Pro, and today we're taking a look at Substance, the new bass synthesizer from Output. It's a very cool synthesizer, amazing sounds, and we're taking a look at the Edit tab in this video. If you want to learn more, be sure to check out the other videos we've produced on this product. So let's take a look at the Edit tab specifically. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a, uh, a new preset to listen to. So we've got this very cool sound. Let's go ahead and play around with what we can do in the Edit tab. So the Edit tab is where we get to play around with the, the ADSR, Attack, Decay, Sustain, Release, as well as the panning, tuning, uh, and some other controls for each individual sound. So this is one step further beyond the main page where we're just kind of adjusting the volume and, and uh, some of the macro controls. Now we're getting into the actual sounds. So let's say we have this sound here, and it sounds pretty sub heavy. Uh, there's not a lot going on in the higher mids. Let's say we wanted to adjust that. So we might find that this upright pits sound, if we listen to just that, let's say we want to bring that out a bit. First thing we could do is uh, we could always go in here and adjust the uh, decay, sustain, release. Let's go ahead and, and do that here. So we've done that. Maybe we want to even turn this one up an octave. We can click here on the up one octave. Sorry, that's the one uh, semitone. If we do this, this plus 12, that's 12 semitones or one octave. Now, because we have our release set very high, we're kind of getting that nice sustain. It sounds pretty cool, but we can turn that down there. And let's go ahead and, and bring this back in with our other sounds. So that is how we can adjust uh, the individual sounds, and that's the controls we get there. We can also pan it if we wanted to pan it to the left or right. We can choose if we want to spread it stereo or wide. And it's a pretty subtle difference when you're mixing it in, but if we listen by itself, definitely hear the difference there if you're listening on headphones especially. So we have the sample start down here which would start at a different part of the sample. So if we wanted to start midway through the sample for some reason, if you didn't want the attack, you could adjust that here. We can also make it a monophonic synth. So if we played polyphonic, we wouldn't hear this particular sound only once. Down here we've got the advanced options. So we've got the key range which we can set so that if we wanted to play this instrument with uh, you know two different parts on the same track, maybe you're performing live and you want to do that, you can certainly set the key range to have maybe one of the sounds lower on the keyboard and another sound higher on the keyboard and play them at the same time. You can adjust the glide You can kind of hear as I jump octaves there, you can hear it kind of swoop in and out for this sound. Um, you can choose if you want it to be uh, relative or not. You can also choose the velocity sensitivity here. So that is the edit tab in Substance. If you want to learn more about this synth, be sure to check out the other videos that we've got. We detail the entire synth. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Westlake Pro YouTube channel.